Hello, hello, my name is Sophia and this is an audio version of my blog entry entitled File Type, the best advanced search operator for OSINT investigations. Finding data online is one of the fundamental skills necessary to become a great OSINT analyst. However, data gathering and information retrieval can be challenging in the vastness of the World Wide Web. One of the most effective ways to start searching for relevant data for your host investigation is by using search engines. However, merely inputting keywords into the search bar might not provide decent results. You'll need more than that to make meaningful progress. Search engines such as Google, Yandex and Bing allow users to refine their searches through various search engine operators. This technique is often referred to as Google dorking or Google hacking, although it can also be applied in other search engines such as Yandex and Bing. So you'd be like Yandex dorking or Bing hacking or whatever. While I would advise both open search intelligence analysts and enthusiasts to get familiarized with all available advanced search operators, there are selected few that are certainly more useful than others when conducting an OSINT investigation. In this blog entry, I will mention various search engine operators, but with a clear focus on the file type operator. Advanced search operator, file type. Here we go. The file type operator is my absolute favorite among advanced search engine operators. If I ever get arrested due to having documents on my computer containing information I should not have access to, you can blame it on this operator and by absolute lack of self-control. I swear I delete all the juicy stuff as soon as I realize what I stumble upon though. With that in mind, please be aware that it's remarkably easy to find data that may be illegal to have in your possession depending on the laws of your country of residence. Proceed and test this amazing search engine operator at your own risk. All examples in this blog entry are safe and should not lead to any legal trouble, but definitely do not quote me on this. How does the file type operator work? So search engines employ automated web crawlers to locate and index online content on the clear web. These crawlers visit websites, follow links, and analyze the content of web pages. When they come across documents of various file types, their indexing system processes the context and extracts the text and metadata. This information is then added to the search engine's database, associating it with the relevant web page and file type. When the file type colon command is employed, the search engine filters the results, displaying only those matching a specific type of extension. The file type operator can be used in conjunction with any other advanced search operator, such as site, in URL, all in text, and more. In fact, I seldom use it on its own. The more targeted you can craft your search query, the better your chances of finding what you're looking for. For instance, a search for site column.gov.asterisk Asterisk, asterisk here is very important, file type column PDF world map, so no quotation marks on this third string, will yield millions of results containing world maps in PDF format hosted in .gov asterisk domains, and I'll explain what the asterisk means, which is typically associated with government websites. So let me show this in action. Let me just copy this and off we go to Google and just put that exactly what I typed. So you can see here, let me put this in the center here and I'm going to zoom. Brilliant. Okay. That's very zoomed, whatever. So there's over 4.6 million results and you can see the PDFs here at the top and they're also here on the list. And you're going to notice that there's gov.something. So that gov.mb.ca, so we're looking at Canada here. We have gov.uk, so this is UK. We have gov.au, which is Australia and so on. You can find here a few others like India and Pakistan. And you'll notice that most of these results will be from English speaking countries, which makes sense because I typed world map. If I were to type another thing in a different language, they're probably going to give me other countries. So this gov.asterisk is telling me that I need something after the gov. So it doesn't end in gov, there's another. So it's the government of a country. And I'll show you later on what happens if you don't put the things afterwards, you get something else. So however, PDFs represent just one of dozens of file types indexable by search engines at your disposal. So what types of files do search engines index? There is some variation between Google, Yandex and Bing regarding the types of file formats they index and consequently, 
what you can specify when using the file type column command, because if they don't index, you cannot find them. As of October 2023, Google is the search engine with the widest range of indexable file extensions, with several new ones added as recently as August 2023. If you click there, there's a tweet of mine that I was just mentioning that. Yandex and Bing still maintain a generous list of available extensions, but fail to include certain types which are very valuable for OSINT analysts and investigators, one of which I will mention in a bit. To date, I have not encountered file types indexed by Yandex or Bing that were not already catalogued by Google. Therefore, the list below, so if you click it, you'll get to this list, represents the most comprehensive indexable file types by search engines as of October 2023. So this list may change, but for now on, this is it. File types indexable by Google. And you have a lot of very good stuff, like you have the PDFs, you have CSV, you have PowerPoint presentations, you have videos, there's all sorts of cool stuff here. So which are the most useful file types for an OSINT investigation? Now that we know the list of available index file types was up there, which ones should we prioritize on when conducting an OSINT investigation? Ultimately, it depends on who or what you're investigating. Overall, I would say there are a few categories that I tend to focus on the most. Some of them just for the fun of it. So we have databases, we have CSV, XLS, XLSX, and ODS file extensions, written documents, I wasn't sure how to call this, but it's stuff that's written and it's a document. So you have PDF, Doc, DocX, and ODT file extensions, and you have maps, KML, and KMZ file extensions. And starting with the database, so I'll go through all three of them. Databases first. When it comes to databases, extensions such as CSV, XLS, XLSX, and ODS are very valuable. Targeting these types of files will lead you to lists of users with personal and identifiable information, financial data, inventory records, budget information, confidential business data, and more. So much more. For my example below, I aim to find a comma-separated value, so a CSV document, displaying the financial data of a UK hospital, part of the NHS trust containing information collected during the COVID outbreak in 2020. So on my Google search bar, I entered this, all in text, column expenses financial 2020, file type colon CSV, site colon NHS.UK. This search string ensured that my results would display information containing the keywords expenses, financial and 2020. The file type would be a CSV database and the document would be hosted within the NHS.UK second level domain. As a result, I discovered over a thousand databases matching my criteria, so you can see it here. I have tested, however, changing my location with a VPN and I get different amounts of results. So depending where you are, you might have different results, but this is the general gist of it. You get all of these things and all of them are CSV files. So a sample of the contents of the very first entry on Google's list titled, here you go, this one, Trust Transaction Data October 2020, is displayed below. Here you go. The file contained transaction records associated with the Department of Health and the Brighton and Sussex University Hospitals NHS Trust, so the BSUH, for the period between October 1st and 31st, 2020. Each entry provided various details, including the date, expense area, supplier, and transactional amount, offering a comprehensive overview of financial activities during that period. And I can show you because I I still have the document with me and you can see there was a lot of information there was very detailed and I have all the information about supplier like I said what they bought the transaction and so on this is a lot of data just available for you document you with file type extensions that include written documents such as PDF doc docx and ODT you can easily find legal documentation government reports books manuals and instructions transcripts, business contracts, etc. For my example below, I aim to find documents about OSINT in a PDF format published by the US government. With that in mind, I search for indexed documents containing the word OSINT in the URL specifically, hosted by the .gov domain associated with the US government and in a PDF format. And if you notice now, it's not .gov asterisk. This is just .gov, so there's nothing afterwards. And this is specifically of the US government. If you put .gov something else, you go to other government websites, but by default, just .gov ends on a US government. And you can see there was only five results. So my search string was in URL colon OSIN site colon .gov specifically, file type colon PDF. 
The top three results were PDF files about OSIN hosted by the Health Sector Cybersecurity Coordination Center, so the HC3, the Department of Homeland Security, the DHS, and the Central Intelligence Agents, or the CIA. And I just want to make it very clear, this is not hacking anyway. This website by the US government put these documents there. We're just making it easier for us to find it. It's there. I didn't hack anything. It's just on Google. It's indexed. Anyway, just to make it clear before they knock on my door. <laughs> maps. Finally, as I love geolocations and looking at interesting details on maps, I'm always tempted to search for KML, so Keyhole Markup Language, and KMZ, Keyhole Markup Zip Files. They're both open by Google Earth Pro, which is one of the best hosting tools out there, and it's free, love it. When you search for files with these extensions, you can uncover a wide array of geospatial data, including coordinates of specific buildings, landmarks, routes, military bases, research stations, and more. I often find coordinates to things I didn't even know existed. For my example below, I aim to locate the coordinates of drift buoys in the polar regions of our planet. These specialized instruments are designed to float on the ocean surface and drift along the ocean currents. They come equipped with sensors and communication systems that gather and transmit meteorological data. As you may imagine, they are too small to be seen by satellite imagery, therefore virtually impossible to geolocate in the vast expanse expanses of our oceans. I figured that research projects that collect and manage this type of data would keep tabs on the boy's position at each point in time. I targeted my search as such, file type colon KML or file type colon KMZ and boy polar research. I did not have a preference for either KML or KMZ file type, so I instructed Google to check both, provided that they included the terms boy polar and research in the index data. I also want to clarify that you did not need a parenthesis on this specific string I put there because I like to have the set separate, it makes sense in my head. With this search string, I uncovered a wealth of remarkable projects that offer detailed information about their data and specific location of drift buoys, both in the Arctic and Antarctic region. Below you can see the screenshot of one of the KMZ files I found which contain data about the research project, including the location of buoys in the Arctic region spanning from 2017 to 2021. And I'm going to show you because it's so amazing. Look at that. So you have the locations here. You can see this is the buoys. You can click, they'll give you more information. You have a little legend here. So I know that the buoys specifically, you go, it says buoys there, are these icons with this little thing. It looked like bells or something. I'm not sure what they're supposed to be, but you can see and they have different colors. And you can see here is in 2017 and you can move and you can see them and you have the end date. You, go, you can put more or less and you can see all of them. So it's amazing. And in case you're interested in a specific one, you can either click on them like I showed you, or you can go here at the left and there's a folder that's called boy specifically. You click, here you go. You have one right click properties. You have the coordinates there. Look at that, just there. It's amazing. This is so cool. You can play with it. There's a lot of stuff to be found. This is one project. There is many more. Just have fun with it. Find other stuff. So conclusion, here we go. One of the first steps in an OSINT investigation is to find and gather relevant data. Within the vastness of the internet, this task can prove more challenging than expected. A good OSINT analyst should master the various advanced search operators available in popular search engines like Google, Yandex, and Bing. This operator operators empower users to filter through index content, thereby increasing the likelihood of discovering and acquiring valuable data often hiding in plain sight. The file type is, in my opinion, one of the most valuable advanced search operators currently available and definitely the one I tend to gravitate to the most. There's a sea of extremely interesting and possibly borderline illegal data that can easily be found using this operator, particularly when combined with other search engine operators. A skilled OSINT analyst will need to know how to use advanced search operators and understand the importance of handling the information responsibly, considering the legal framework and ethics. If you're unsure, delete the files and forget what you saw. Thank you for reading. Happy hunting. Sophia.